Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to use the Masonry um, plugin, uh, which uh, is one of these new things you'll find on many websites of recent. Uh, what this plugin does is it creates a dynamic layout for your pages, uh, making it look like uh, CSS floats. Uh, so, for example, you can see this um, one here. They are arranged in a very interesting way, dynamically, and uh, so some people took it uh, a step further uh, that when you scroll, uh, it gets filled in. So, for example, if we go to this website uh, and, you, and you scroll down, uh, you find that the more you scroll, it gets filled in automatically, uh, and, and they have these um, different dynamic uh, sizes and widths and heights and stuff like that the more you scroll and so we're going to try and see how we can achieve this kind of effect in our drupal website uh for this tutorial we're going to be using two modules uh the masonry uh which is a very fantastic module uh, uh we're going to be seeing it only in the drupal 7 uh, uh, uh website you can use this on drupal 6 uh, and then we're going to be using the views infinite uh, scroll module uh, we did this uh, on our website how to install this uh, so go ahead and install your masonry module and your views infinite uh, scroll module uh, i've enabled mine so if i go to my modules um, and i scroll down i've enabled my masonry Masonry context and mission reviews. That's what you need uh, Make sure you've downloaded the context module, which is um, a dependency for uh, The grids to work without this one your grids are not going to show up So make sure you've downloaded the context module Alright, so once you've done that uh, We had to create a new view so structure view Add new view. Uh, this tutorial assumes that you know how to use the views uh, module. Uh, in case you do not know how to use the views module, uh, you can check some of our tutorials on our website. Uh, so let's go with this um, dynamic. Dynamic. Uh, it's going to be of type article. And uh, let's do continue and edit. Right. The first thing you do is on the format. Uh, you select the masonry grid once you select that uh, click on apply and here's where we make changes uh, you can set your column width to whatever you like uh, the duration of animation uh, make the grid resizable that's up to you center grid that's up to you got a width i'll set this to about 10 pixels and once that's done i click on apply and that should save it now this will not show up on your preview so do not expect it uh, like i said earlier i'm going to be using it in uh, conjunction with our uh, views infinite scroll so if i look at our page here and click on views infinite scroll before we do that let's see what this looks like first and then we'll enable our views infinite scroll so if i go to home and i go to dynamic dynamic and you see so this is what our page looks like it's already looking uh, fantastic so we can see the dynamic layouts already taking shape uh, you can style this using your css uh, but in this uh, tutorial we're not going to be styling you can go to page two page three however we want this to get loaded uh, automatically so if we go back to our views and in our page uh, this time we're going to be using the infinite scroll click on apply all display and make this 15 and uh, click on apply and I click on save and you should see our website should start looking like the example we showed you earlier so the one I scroll voila you see everything gets loaded uh, you know working perfectly well with the views in finite scroll uh, I think uh, this brings us uh, to the end of this lesson. However, before I finish, uh, it's important to point out to you that uh, there was a bug in the masonry and the views. No, in the is it masonry? Uh, masonry views infinite scroll module. 
so I had to make changes so if you type this uh, uh, word in your Google and then scroll down and make sure you download these two patches and then patch your module else it would not work so make sure to patch your masonry module in order to achieve uh, the same effect that I achieved in Drupal Ah, so this brings us to the end of the lesson. I'll see you in our next lesson. Thank you.